I gave my cats away for you. gross porn out there scat porn and stuff and yeah i am kink shaming that sorry like how hypocrisy you are oh my god hey girl gang what up everybody it's so good to see you guys long time no see i hope you guys are good on this friday eve Woo! friday eve oh my god it's almost over Woo! ah good to see you guys it is indeed poop time. Woo! <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot going on in Chantopolis tonight. We are going to get to that. Before we do, uh, I want to let you guys know something because um, that's right. Woof, woof indeed. Arf, arf. Um, <laughs> I got my dog a dog. Ooh. Ooh, 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 I, I did it. I did it. Uh, my dog has a dog. My puppy has a puppy. So here's the thing. Okay. I'm letting you guys know because um, it's um, in the hell of uh, potty training right now. So what I'm going to have to do when she wakes up eventually, she's passed out right now, I'm going to have to run her little ass to the back door, to the grass, to pee. So when I do, I'm going to put on, <laughs> that's Lindsay with an A's, that's underscore Lindsay on Twitter, everybody follow. I'm going to put on the peanut nodding off to Chantal on the dune buggy video. And that'll be kind of the intermission for her to go and have her be, okay? Just so y'all will understand when I gotta move quick and like change the video or I just dip for a second, that is what's going on. There's a little mug here now. So please be patient with Frenchie. Uh, Pixie, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Poop, that is all. Poop indeed. Poop is back. Poop is in my house. Poop is everywhere. <laughs> oh my God. It's not sperm everywhere. It's shit everywhere. Oh my God. Shitting eight hours. <laughs> Fuck. In the arms. Oh, Miss Movie Buff. Thank you for the super chat. Adding the clip of scat kink shaming is perfect. Isn't it though? Like, isn't it though? I think it is too. Mm. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. New pop and your girls. Congratulations on the four pounds. That's fantastic, girl. MB, thank you for the super chat for special puppy snacks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, girl. <laughs> okay, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing, cheekbones. <clears throat> Did mom say it's okay? Absolutely not. I always say she's the voice of reason. And when it comes to pets, she would all, I can I could hear her in my ear going, no, 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 no. You know, anyway, I was talking about this with my brother two days ago, and he made a really good point. He goes, because it wasn't so much she was the voice of reason when it came to pets. She was just kind of anti-getting pets. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, you're right. Like until let's say Ollie was like 13 years old. She would look at me sometimes and go, I told you not to get that dog. Like, what's the matter with you? You know, not because she doesn't love pets. I of course grew up with pets and stuff, but she didn't want us to be so young and have all that responsibility and stuff. So anyway, he made a good point. She absolutely was not the voice of reason when it came to pets. And that's all that I needed to be enabled to get my dog a dog. <laughs> no regrets. Stacy. thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Uh, 
Congrats. Let's start with the new vid. Okay, okay girl, we're going to get there. Relax. Jesus Christ. We're not even talking about her yet. <laughs> WNC Tar Heel, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, you guys are sweet. Blobfish, thank you for the super chat. Uh, ah, shit bags. <laughs> we could just have her shit in your mouth for eight hours. That is an option because she's one hell of a shitter. It's possible. Uh, that weird guy, Justin. Hey, thank you for the super chat. Fuck chins and salad. Hope you are well. Uh, like, fuck them both. I'm good. I hope you're good too. <laughs> good to see you. Uh, Miranda, thank you so much, girl. I really appreciate it. I'm excited. He's excited. It's been a hell of a three days. <laughs> uh, thank you, the salty spit. Wait, spittoon. I appreciate it. All right, y'all, listen. Now we are going to pivot into Chantal's stuff, okay? So we're not starting with the new video. Uh, we have to start with a little something before because, yes, give me a Scatman is back, y'all. The, the soft return of, of Scatman has been to Scatman is now walking alone in Kuwait filming shit for the couple's channel. Very, very interesting. Poop emojis all around. Hella shit jokes and all the grape references and Kai Bella stuff, okay? So here's what I've done. Uh, yes, Chantal just posted a video. That'll be the second thing we watch. We're going to start with Scatman's return because I want to get that shit over with, okay? Now, he was live for quite some time. I have edited us down his live stream to two minutes and 28 seconds, and that's with my added fuck shit, and you know I added some fuck shit. Let's call this your uh, welcome back. Marhaba, you son of a bitch. You actual piece of shit. Marhaba. So yes, we're going to start with my two minute and 28 second edit of his stream. And then we will watch the video that Chantal just posted up. Lunch and Therapy Canada vlog. Then we're going to go back in time to the uh, out of shape at the Upper Canada Bird Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And then Shopping Day, Lush, Mall Lunch, and Giant Tiger, which really got my attention because we just did the retro react to her going out for lunch with Rena to that place called the green door, a place that we haven't seen now in years on her channel. And I paused when we saw they were at the green door and I made a note of like, why doesn't she go there anymore? Oh, that place was healthy. Like she should go back to that place. And wouldn't you know, three days later, she ends up back at the green door after years. So hi Chantal, you psychopath. We know you're always watching, but again, I say this all the time. I'm going to say it again. You have to put a little space in between hearing me say some shit and you like kind of directly showing us that you're listening. You know what I mean? If you had waited even, I don't know, a few weeks and then went back, eh, maybe I would have forgotten that we reacted to that. You know, it was two days. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Nee Marie, thank you for the super chat. Uh, the, <laughs> the little baby. <laughs> She's Lil. She's tiny, tiny. So her name is Lil. L-I-L, or Lillian, I like Lillian, I like Lily, but really, like, her government name, like, when she's getting cuffed, it's uh, Lily Depp Rose, so, or L Lily Rose Depp, that is her name, but for it's just L-I-L, because she's so fucking tiny, to be honest, <laughs> I like giving dogs human names, so I thought at when there'll be a funny age when, you know, you're trying to get them back on the leash at the dog run or whatever, and you have to yell out like, Lily Rose Depp, you get back over here. It makes people's head turns and makes them chuckle. So I, I live for that shit, you know? Uh, Sydney, yeah, that. so that that's it. That's it. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, dude, girl. Yeah, she's, she's a doll. Lord of the Fruit Flies. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, girl. So yeah, anyway, she's passed out. You know how hard they sleep. They place a hoard and then they sleep so hard. It shouldn't be too bad until she wakes up and I got to run her for that pee, you know? Lilo, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know I'm annoying, but it's Sadie's first birthday today. Okay, happy birthday, Sadie. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, I hope she had a wonderful birthday. Uh, uh, basement baby, thank you for the super chat. Bird sanctuary. Oh my God, imagine it's seagulls. Well, it's going to be. It, like, what? I mean, there'll be hella other birds, but you know those fucking seagulls are everywhere in Canada, for fuck's sake, man. What kind of dog is she? <laughs> no friggin' clue. Absolutely no idea. Your best guess is as good as mine. I'm gonna have to wait till she gets a little older and do one of those DNA tests on her, too. We'll find out. Anyway, uh -uh. let's hard pivot into our content, shall we? We are here for some scat! Boop, boop, doop. So let me get the, like I said, uh, the edit from yesterday. He was live walking around on the beach, blah, blah, blah. 
It's down to two minutes. Hold on. Let me get the tab. Hello, guys. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the Couple Channel, Salah and Chantal. Hi, baby. I can see you. So, how's the quality? People having fun here, enjoying playing. Now, this little bit I only left in to say, isn't it funny? This is the first time that we've seen him go out without Chantal. And it's the first time that we see people in Kuwait. Isn't that a coincidence? Huh? It's almost as if when Chantal's around, he doesn't want to run into any people. And so every single time that they have left the house, we have always wondered, where the hell are the people of Kuwait? There's never anybody around. Look at all those people. Look at all those people. Where the fuck do all those people come from? And where are they when she goes out? He's showing his ass right now. Ah, oh, I love it. Basement baby, thank you again for the super chat. <laughs> wah, wah. I miss the movie, but thank you for the super chat. Hello, King and Queen Beezer. Hello, uh, boss champ. Now, again, I left this little nug because look at all those people. People sitting in the grass, people walking on the beach, people at the water, people sitting here on this uh, concrete ledge or whatever. And, and I purposely left this part in just in case she's going to try and start her shit of like, oh, it's never women. It's only the men who go out together and blah, blah, blah. Well, one, two, three, four. I see four women sitting on this little concrete slab right now, right in front of our faces. So, don't start that shit, Chantal. He hides you from the world because he's mortified of you, just like anybody with any sense would be. Every time you've gone out, there's no people. Look at this. I'm sure this is kind of like a normal scene in Kuwait with the people, being people, walking around, you know? Not when she's there. Never. Queen Lee, thank you for the super chat. She's back in Kuwait? What? Absolutely not, Blobfish. Thank you again for Super Chat. He had to think about it for a minute. He also was about to mess up the H there. He really, <laughs> he had to think about it. He stopped after the A to think about what came next. That's interesting. Your wife. That's your wife. You don't know her first name? Like, easy? Hmm, weird. Salah and Chantal. Good. Hey. Who are you asking if it's good? He's the he's so awkward. It's like awkward to even listen to him function. Good. Why did she tell you to do that on the beach or something? And you're asking her if it's good? That's fucking weird. Yo, she's 40. I don't know. I, I Maybe I'm too jaded or something. But if my scat man was on the other side of the world fucking wrongly writing my name, my first fucking name, into the sand on the beach, I would not be impressed. I'd actually be pretty fucking mortified. Uh, Cherry Blossom Mocha, thank you for the super chat, girl. Hey, naughty bitch. <laughs> And I left that in for obvious reasons. That is going in the intro. Hey, naughty beach. <laughs> that is how I will address you guys every day when we start our stream from now on. Hey, naughty beaches.
I love how some trolls they love to be kicked out and be blocked. <laughs> well, I swear, there's no life. Uh, the trolls have no life, eh? <laughs> Tell us about your life. Tell us about your life, you fucking degenerate sack of shit. What a pathetic trolls. <laughs> yeah, you want to hear about a pathetic troll? <laughs> gonna smell like ham you sick fuck <laughs> oh this sack of human garbage has the biggest nerve in the whole wide world to come back to the internet and be talking shit about trolls and people having no life and blah 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 mr life mr living it up well let's learn from him let's look at his messages and learn how to live it up like salad lives it up Trolls. You you wanted to shit on someone for eight hours. You have fantasies of graping women, and you hate Western women, and you're a fucking incel, and you got floppy tits, birthing hips. You can't even shave your fucking junk properly. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so funny. We feel sad for you guys. I mean the haters. Yeah, feel sad for us. I worship your ass. And that <laughs> was more than all the best parts of Salad's fucking walking around as the scat man, sack of shit he is, uh, with the audacity to be talking about other people. Salad, shut the fuck up when it comes to other people for the rest of your fucking life, you weird rape fantasist. You fucking weird shit fantasist. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck her. And fuck like all y'all for real, for real. Fuck this whole fucking Kuwait arc. Fuck. Oh, the nerve. The nerve. I hope he goes back to making those videos like he had started to make about like garlic bread and stuff. The actual audacity of this man bitch to bring his fucking shit loving face back to the internet after that. You would have never seen me again. Never, ever. No, no, no. Lisa Barrett, thank you for the super chat, girl. Blobfish, <laughs> he spelled salad wrong. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Thank you for the super chat. Cautious observer, thank you for the super chat. Pup is a canardly. Look at her and you'll canardly. <laughs> canardly. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's exactly what she is. <laughs> Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. I don't think she's back in Kuwait. Her most recent vid has a throwback Thursday bit where she replays her first trip there. Ah, okay, I see. Well, we're going to watch that one right away. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the, the video she posted up, what, 20 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago, lunch and therapy Canada vlog. Let's figure out if she really went to therapy. Let's figure out if she's fucking around. And, uh, I'm going to point out a little something at a certain point in this video, because I got you again with the fucking dispensary bees and you bitch. Wait, let me get the tab. And it was that turn right there where Frenchie knew exactly where this fucking heifer was going. Uh, see, when you turn down Pitt, there's a street in the corner. It's called Pitt. And it's a really long street. It's a pretty main street. But when you turn down Pitt, kind of right at the end, like she just did, of Pitt, there's only a couple of blocks left. It's pretty obvious where you're going. Uh, see that place Kids Corner where it says Kids Corner on that building? That's where I got the corn monopoly, corntopoly or whatever the hell it was called that we did the giveaways for right there. On the next block over on the right hand side is the best dispensary in the court. It is what it is. Now she's going to film herself. She, she just filmed herself coming down the block, turning down the block. But the camera is about to cut right before we get to the dispensary. Make with that what you will. <clears throat> In 
interesting. So if you notice, we passed right by the Chinese buffet. We weren't stopping at the Chinese buffet. We kept filming right past the Chinese buffet, but we stopped right, right before that dispensary turn in. <laughs> and there's nothing else on pit. The dispensary is the second to last building on the block. And the last building, I believe, is a glasses store. Was she going for glasses? She just told us how he got her glasses and they were so cheap and yada, yada. I, I don't think she was stopping for glasses. So the only other place she could have been stopping was the dispensary. It is what it is. Uh, MB, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another Canada vlog. So I'm here picking up uh, my aunt so that we can have a day together. Um, we're going to go have lunch and do some errands, some shopping. And then I have a therapy appointment in the afternoon. What's wrong with her face? <laughs> yeah. No, I know we say that all the time, but I, I mean her eyes specifically. Has she been crying? I heard like a little debate. Was she crying? Is it weed? Is she high? Da, da, da. I'm not saying she's not high. She definitely could be high. We just saw her go by the best dispensary in the court. However, the bottom lids are puffy. And that doesn't really happen like that when you're hamburgerizing. You know what I mean? It's normally the, the droopy top lid. That doesn't look so much like just stoned eyes to me. That looks like she's been crying. Oh, or she's like allergic to the filth around her or something. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. The filth never bothered her before. I wonder what had happened. Voice of unreason. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, no. <laughs> Girl, maybe, maybe one day. You never know. Taz D, thank you for the super chat. Lily Rose. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Girl, I appreciate it. Uh, Ariana, thank you for the super chat. Had, oh, well, listen, listen, depending how long tonight's live goes, we'll probably be playing games after the stream, okay? Uh. Afternoon. So, yeah, it's going to be a full day for me. It is quite rainy, which is kind of disappointing because we wanted to go on a nature walk. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But, anyways, um... Yeah, so come along with me again today in this vlog. Yes, let's go, Yella. So, another birthday gift. I got a pink Yeti. So, yeah, because I like Yeti, and I used to have a blue one. That was a gift also <laughs> from a Beezer. And, uh, yeah, I love this color. So, it keeps my water cold when I'm out driving around the whole time by the way i can easily get an international oh she's not sleeping in her car she's sleeping at her mother's oh oh allegedly conspiracy whatever <clears throat> driver's license or driver's license over there in kuwait but it's not the same as driving here so um no i don't really enjoy driving over there you know so um i'm gonna be a passenger princess when i'm there so yeah <laughs> hi guys yeah, no point in getting a license when you never leave the house. How many times even have you been a passenger princess? How many times have you been in a car in Kuwait? Maybe five times in the year that you've been there? That's or more than a year. I need to be passenger princess. She just wants to picture herself as a princess no matter what. Ugh. The Yeti is the same color as her face. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. It went by too quick. And someone's like, oh, what? Couldn't afford a Stanley? I'm only speaking for myself here. Uh, not, not that I want a Yeti by any means, but if it was like here, you could either have this Stanley or this Yeti and someone had them in your face, I would pick the Yeti. Everybody with their Stanleys. No, I don't, I don't like to have the same as everybody. I suppose everybody has a Yeti. I don't want either one of them. I'm just saying, fuck the Stanleys. Fucking overrated giant ass cup. The anim, uh, anime duelist. Thank you for the super chat. Did the visage get rejected or did salad go cheating? Hmm. Maybe both. Can we get both? <laughs> we can dream, right? Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> Laura Fuck <on. laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate the name change. Oh, 
So we are eating at a vegetarian restaurant today. It is actually quite a delicious place. I've eaten here before. Here's a glimpse at their menu or part of it. They give you a pitcher of nice cold water to drink while you are there. She looks awful. I don't mean that to be a hater ass bitch. I mean that to be a realist. Wow. Wow. Just, just wow. I don't have words. What is going on with your face? For real, for real. I think, you know, the other day people were passing around on Twitter the picture of her, like, whiskers. And so she got so paranoid, she, like, full shaved the entirety of her face. But I don't know if she did it, like, with a dry face or... I, I don't know what the fuck she did to herself, but she it looks like she took off a layer of skin, fuck. Cheekbones! What? Cheekbones! Thank you for the super chat. What is one or two therapy sessions gonna do for her? Well, in her mind, it's gonna get her audience to back the fuck off of her. Maybe her family to back the fuck off of her. We've been on this rodeo before with her. The one therapy session that does absolutely nothing. It's it's always just a tactic. You know, like, there, there, I did it. Everybody fuck off, you know? Oh, God. Uh, Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Salad and 4chan incels together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, two incel freaks who found each other. Gross. So my aunt wanted to show that she had the soup of the day, which was tomato and lentil. And she had a falafel sandwich on gluten-free bread. She loves it. And I had a pad thai, though it's not like traditional pad thai, but it's like noodles with like a peanut kind of sauce with vegetables. It was actually really good. I thought this display at the tattoo place next door, really cool. All right, time for my therapy appointment. I'm just waiting in the waiting room now. Kogi 20, thank you for the super sticker. Hey guys, so I just finished at my therapy session. Um, now, granted, when I made the appointment, I told them I was planning on making this an ongoing effort to address my mental health. You know, because I was planning on staying here. So then the main focus of this <clears throat> session, and, and the therapist was very on point, you know, just by little things I would tell her about my story, like recent story, sort of the past few years. She talked about grief, you know, grieving things that I still haven't really grieved. You know, parts of me who I was. Not necessarily a bad thing grieving, but sometimes when there's change, whether it's good or bad, you grieve parts of things that are changing. I'm sitting here listening so intently, trying to figure out, did this really come from a therapist or is this something her fucking hippie ass stoned aunt has like, like muttered off under like a haze of indica one day? I don't know yet. But it was nice to have my feelings validated. Especially since I don't know anybody really who understands me wanting to go back to Kuwait. But this therapist did. And she gave me a lot of reasons why I would want to go back there based on what I told her. And my feelings were validated. And they also came up with a lot of resources for me to have access to healthcare care um, remotely. Um, there's some binge eating uh, program resources, addiction services, and the mental adult mental health program, which is like covered by OHIP. It's like a year and a half wait. So for like one-on-one -on -one counseling. So but hold on. Don't you say that you live in Kuwait? If you claim to live in Kuwait, who the fuck are you to use any service remotely? Bad enough that your fucking visa hopping dumbass came back here and abused the OHIP system right now. But 
You're going to be cosplaying on the other side of the world, pretending to live there and still abusing Canada's healthcare system? Who the fuck do you think you are? That doesn't seem fair. Bitch, you want to use the healthcare system? Your fat ass stays here. It is what it is. You go back to Kuwait, figure out a way to make some money. Huh? Your rich husband should be paying for your fucking therapy over there. What the fuck is this? Why should the taxpayers here pay for your remote health care, mental health care? What is this? It's like the twilight zone for fuck's sake. I'm starting to think this appointment was real. God damn it. Uh, Water star, thank you for the super chat. Will she make enough money to go back to scamming? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think she will on payday. That's what she's waiting for. I really do. Uh, Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Ham colored clothing is making it well. You know, <laughs> a shit leopard can't change its ham colored spots. So we'll just see. Um, I have some resources. They also suggested help me pick out resources in Kuwait. So the focus is to also have access to some resources there, which there are community centers, but they're Islamic, you know. So they made a good point that a lot of it's probably going to be through a religious perspective, which makes sense. And, you know, being a revert, you know, they suggested finding other revert expat groups that might be support so they also started oh you can't fix your mental health with religion oh my god oh my god what the fuck is this my head hurts so of course then they tell it yeah so so use the remote services because theirs will be religious they oh no they're encouraging her to like milk the system because she lies to them to keep the card going and keep everything. No, I, well, I don't live over there. I'm just there on a visa doing my YouTube channel. Oh, oh. but does see, I eat his leaky rim stained whole. Thank you for the super chat. I'm glad to hear that about Kobe. Uh, sing cat. Thank you for the super chat. The first appointment, the therapist is taking notes and learning about the client, not making observations. Mm, true but to get them to talk things like the things that she said so far i could see that being said just to get her to talk she was probably like you know the defense is up and they try to just get you talking a little okay we'll start with like the present day type of things and then to give her those resources i think it could be in the first appointment you know maybe not but maybe did she use some bs like better help don't you pay for that <laughs> and therefore no she didn't <laughs> That oh hip card, she would go for free, right? Uh, Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Uh, she just bitched about people buying Yetis, did she? I remember her bitching about the freaking Stanley Cups, but was Yetis included there? Figures, fucking hypocrite ass. I told them, you know, socializing, I isolate a lot because socializing, getting out there is kind of overwhelming when I'm feeling, you know, down. So they suggested just going out in public without socializing. So just going out more. So there's things I have that I have to work on, but I feel more confident having gone through this session. It's definitely not a waste of time. And they're one phone call away if I ever need another one whenever I need it. So what do you mean if you need another one? You see what I mean? This wasn't about therapy. This wasn't about anything except for getting the the her audience or whatever, her Beezers off her back to a certain extent because she pulled that fucking PayPal scam. She's full of shit and she needed a reason to stay... To, to say that she was staying in this country past payday. Tabarnak, man. This was just manipulative. Just, man, you know, oh, and, and that other appointment she has is on the 23rd. Well, isn't that convenient that it's on the 23rd? Because the 22nd or the, uh, the 21st, which is normally payday, falls on a Sunday this month, which means the money won't process, which means she won't even get her money on the 22nd. She's going to get her money on the 23rd. So, of course, her appointment's on the 23rd. And I have their number in case I ever need another session. What the fuck did you do in this session? Fuck all. Absolutely fuck all. You don't go to therapy once. God, I hate her guts. I swear to God, I hate her guts. Stop wasting our time with this is fucking content, for fuck's sake. Cherry Blossom Mocha, thank you for the super chat. Yes, it's disgusting. Not only that she hasn't paid into it. But the fact that she's still going with this bullshit lie that she lives in Kuwait. Well, then, bitch, why don't you start using their resources? Huh? You live in Kuwait? Live in Kuwait, fuck. Uh, Toki20, thank you again for a super chat. Planning my garden in New Yard. Too dedicated to... Ooh, very nice. Enjoy all the fruits of your labor. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> 
that's my therapy update. It's actually super nice out here. It's rainy, gloomy, but I love it. I love getting fresh air. <sighs> Oh, okay. So this is why people are like, oh my God, she's back in Kuwait. She's not back in Kuwait. That was clearly Canada. There's a throwback Thursday. And here's why. How long would this video have been without it? Let's see. Right here. Now she's she's done with her content for today. We're going to a throwback Thursday. Seven minutes and 25 seconds. <laughs> throwback Thursday is what's going to push us over 10 minutes to get that mid-roll bitch, man. Nancy, thank you for the super chat. Yes. I love the collective head shake in this audience. I mean... I don't even know what to say about this whole fucking therapy thing. She can't think that we're all this dumb. Does she, is her family this fucking dumb? Like, who is this for? I don't get it. Blop this. Thank you again for the super chat. Therapy isn't a one and done. Absolutely not. <laughs> she got nothing today. Absolutely nothing. She, except for that she could come out and make this video and say, see, I did it. I went to therapy. Fuck you. Uh, D'Artagnan, oh, wait, D'Artagnan, thank you for the super chat. Uh, bet the back of her neck looks like a pack of, oh, hell yeah, whole ass pack. Like one of those big packs, like the Costco hot dogs. Mm -hmm. She's like a jumbo hot dog neck. Uh, Rexham, thank you for the super chat. FFG, you know she bitched about you in there. Oh, God. <laughs> like when she, oh my God, <laughs> during the first, you know, the first and second stream on the BBJ Rescue Day. And she comes back and she goes, you call the police and you tell them. I am emotionally exhausted. <laughs> Girl, finally, yeah, you're at therapy. This was the moment to tell them, fuck. Oh, God. And the pair, the therapist, she's just going on and on about me and the haters and the fat shaming. And the therapist is like shaking their head, going, mm hmm, mm hmm, and writing down psychopath and circling it three times on the notes, you know? <laughs> Voice of unreason. Thank you for the super chat. The imagine therapist Googles her and joins Girl. Oh, my. <laughs> therapist becomes a hater <laughs> next session the therapist is like well you know ffg does make some good points oh my god she would have a, a just a, like a heart attack she would keel over in that fucking session and croak tracy thank you for the super chat licensed therapist first session is always an assessment gathering info and such interesting <laughs> interesting figures and then when she told them like well i won't be back i've changed my plans i'm going back to kuwait da -da 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 -da. they just gave her the resources she needs because of course she won't be back for a second one but they saw all kinds of crazy in that first one and they're like oh she needs the resources hmm. hey guys so i am super excited i'm waiting for the bus i took a taxi um to this location the easiest fastest way my, you know the key is almost done for so <laughs> The best way for me to get to the um, airport is by bus. I went, I have to take an airplane in Montreal airport. So I'm going to take a shuttle bus from Ottawa to Montreal. And I'm going to take it from the University of Ottawa express bus. It has a bathroom, everything. I'll show you when I'm on the bus. All right. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. Pretty much just packed my one suitcase and... Yeah. Oh, the filters are going strong. That Sharmuta makeup was in effect. Uh, she, she, you know, was probably about 70 pounds lighter. This carry on bag. So I'm here at the airport and I'm looking for my check in gate. Okay, this is 100% like like horrible filler content. This is the best filler content she could come up with. Walking through the Montreal airport? What is the matter with you? Just to make it to 10 minutes? Or is she traveling now? And this is like almost letting us know she's traveling with it. She doesn't have the money. What am I saying? Oh my God, I'm gaslighting myself right now. Fuck. <laughs> she doesn't have the money to be traveling. This is just to make the video 10 minutes. And she's so lazy. She didn't even go looking for like decent old footage. She's like, mm, first video I find walking through a fucking airport and waiting for a shuttle bus. You, why didn't you show us your arrival in Kuwait? God, man, what is wrong with her? She's the worst like YouTuber of all time. Uh, for real, for real. It was bad enough that we had to watch this the first time. What the fuck?
Uh, R4, thank you for the super chat. She went to therapy to confirm her feelings too about needing to go to Kuwait. Oh, yeah. Maybe you're right, eh? Oh, gross, man. Uh, yeah, her therapy appointment was just today. You're right. It can't be today. Either way, she just, you're 100% right. And she doesn't have any fucking money. She was bitching about the price of the meal at the green door the other day. 40 bucks. 40, you, you do not have fly to Kuwait ticket money. No, definitely no. She has pregnancy nose. What? Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Because of med chasers, rare to get prescription. Oh, yeah, absolutely. She's not getting any fucking prescriptions. No way. So for Qatar Airways, let's go. Oh, how Canadian. So I'm not going to eat. On the, I'm going to probably eat on the plane. We get meals on the plane. But I'm going about to go through security. So I'm having a water and a mango juice at this Middle Eastern restaurant outside of the check-in. Tater Top Pandu, thank you for the super chat. Unfortunately, how fucked as it is in Canada, even that first appointment, she wouldn't have had it without already waiting on the wait list. You don't even get that kind of like an assessment and then go on a wait list. No, she's already waited. The the I, I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know how they saw her this quickly. I don't know how long she's been waiting to be seen. All I know is in Montreal, she would have been waiting a hell of a lot longer than she waited. But again, we don't know when this thing was like started, initiated. You know what I mean? Was she making phone calls from there? Was her fucking useless aunt Phil maybe making phone calls for her? I don't know. Who knows? You know, but uh no, she would have already waited. All the way at the back. Exactly. Beauty booty. That's the content we want. We're never going to get it. Nope. This is so stupid. absolute laziest YouTuber I've ever seen. The greediest fucking bitch I've ever seen in my life. Imagine going to a therapy appointment to get out of trouble for PayPal scamming your audience and then turning that therapy appointment into content and having to tack this shit onto that uh, video of the therapy appointment just to be able to add a fucking mid roll onto it. The nerve the nerve, the nerve of this bitch to call herself a professional YouTuber. And this is her full-time job and stuff. All these years you call yourself a vlogger. You don't own a fucking GoPro or anything that can stabilize the goddamn picture. You, you, you can't buy a gimbal for fuck's sake to put your goddamn phone on. No, we should waddle back and forth with the 450 pound death fat while she films her vlogs. Professional YouTuber. <laughs> You weren't so shy. You were so embarrassed because you fat fished him, you stupid ass. And suddenly he was seeing your big fat face for real for the first time. So you put up a hand trying to cover all those chins and shit. Girl, no, no. And what the fuck to be continued? Oh, get off of my screen. Get get the fuck. Just get out of here. Get out of here. Filler. That should have been a seven minute video. Or it could have not been a video at all. You know, there's that. But that should have been a seven minute video. Chantal, if you can't come up with three minutes just to talk about for fuck's sake, put it up as a seven minute video. You don't need a mid roll on everything in your life for fuck's sake. You don't put minutes of that shit as filler content. That is not filler content. You know what? Go find the, the Canada geese. Put that in for three minutes. I'd rather watch that shit than this for a second time. It was bad enough that we watched it the first time. It's completely irrelevant. It's a year and a half old content. 
What is it? Throwback Thursday. You were walking through fucking airports. Who cares? Oh, <laughs> serenity now. This is the worst. Uh, where did she stay until they got married a few days later? Uh-huh. Exactly. Charmuta. Uh. Uh, so until, thank you for the super chat. I did not name the puppy croissant. <laughs> that would have been cute, though. Uh, Chantal's therapist, damn it. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. We did discuss you quite a bit. Had to start another file just for you. Oh, no. Not a dossier. It might be a dossier. Oh, no. I did call it an airport, didn't I? <laughs> I said it like French aeroport, <laughs> but in English. <laughs> Fucking French brain, man. Ah, okay, so that was that little piece of shit. You happy now? We watched the new video first. <sighs> Poubelle. There's another French word. That means garbage. Let's move on, shall we? Next piece of Poubelle. Shopping day. Lush mall lunch. Wait, Lush, Mall Lunch, and Giant Tiger. Oh, we're budget bees in a Giant Tiger. You remember who used to shop at Giant Tiger? Koki shopped at Giant Tiger. And you remember who used to make fun of Koki for shopping at Giant Tiger when she was on the outs? That's right. That bitch who used to flex that she made 20 grand a month and was shitting on people shopping at a Giant Tiger. Now she's going to Giant Tiger and she's turning it into content for her channel. <laughs> Let me get the jab. Uh, now, remember that uh, two days before she puts up this piece of shit video, we did that retro react to her and uh, Rena going to the green door for lunch and commenting about how she used to go to the green door and now she could no longer afford the green door. Why doesn't she ever go to green door anymore? And poof, after not seeing the green door for literal years, like since the BB era, we're back at the green door in this video. What a coincidence. No, she doesn't watch. Basement baby, thank you for the super chat. This was against TOS. She doesn't want another. Well, yeah, you're right. Well, hello, guys. Welcome back to another Canada vlog. So today I am going with some family members to have a wonderful day. We're going to go on a little road trip. We're going to have lunch. We're going to go to a park. We're going to go shopping. I have some lush gift cards that I need to spend. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be doing all of those things today. It's a beautiful day out and I'm inviting you all along with us. So Yella, come on, let's go. Hey guys, do me a favor. When some little degenerate sack of shit like S-Jam goes live, please don't come into my chat and say, S-Jam is live. The last thing I would ever do is like hype up a drunk driving piece of shit who puts people's lives at risk because he's too irresponsible to behave. Fuck him. He literally could be Chantal's fucking half funkle uh, baby brother. Okay. Fuck her. Fuck him. Please don't do that again. My God, these filler fucking driving montages. Okay, this video is 17 minutes. Just skip through the drive. Oh. First stop is to St. Albert Dairy Farm to get some fresh cheese curds. Fresh from their farm that they make daily. I hate when she's talking like this. Fresh cheese curds that they make at the farm fresh daily she's like getting turned on for fucking cheese curds calm down chantal you, and um just by the way uh oh well that's true i guess she was going ottawa i would say this took her quite a bit out of her way but not going ottawa never mind wow a 2kg bag of cheese curds 
Oh my gosh, that would put me in a cheese coma. But you know that fat fuck bought that thing of cheese curds and went into a cheese coma. But uh, as much as I'd love to, I'm going to get the smallest bag they have. So yeah, I'm just gonna get a little bag of cheese curds. Hey guys, so I'm here in Canada just doing a come here in Canada just doing such a weird thing to say. Bitch, we see people behind you. We know you're not in Kuwait. We see your fucking Kia. Stop it. Uh, cheese curds are like typically a Quebecois thing. It's the cheese that goes on a poutine. So, but they also have them in Wisconsin. So there's that. Vlog today. I'm doing a bit of shopping. I'm going to go to Lush. Right now we're at Giant Tiger and we're going to have lunch after. So Yella, come with us. Just going to go see if they have anything of interest, maybe. I love it. I love it. My, how the mighty have fallen. She literally would shit on Koki for going to Giant Tiger. Tigre Géant here, right? Here she's going to see if they have anything interesting. How come it wasn't interesting when Koki was going there? It's only interesting when you're broke and shopping there? Hmm, I see. Uh, I don't, I'm not shitting on Giant Tiger. I'm not trying to be like, ew, poo poo. I'm just saying in the context of somebody who shit all over that store while they were flexing to a degenerate in an attic that they were making 20 grand a month, it's pretty funny that she's now shopping at Giant Tiger. <laughs> Giant Tiger is like um Ross. You know that store Ross? It's it's like kind of like a junk store. If they have like clothes, they're not good. And you, you know what I mean? It's it's like a junk catch-all store. There's like there are pool noodles and snacks and like a shirt and like a rice cooker. It's it's just random junk thrown in the store. Yeah. It's fun though. You walk around, you never know what you're gonna find there. Uh, Paolo, thank you for the super sticker. I don't know. Just have a look around. Summer's coming, so pool items are important. I used to love ring pops as a kid. Excuse me, hijab cheese. Uh, thank you for the super chat. My mom took me to St. Albert one year for my birthday. <laughs> That's some fat kid shit right there. <laughs> I love it. These are the cheesies. Hawkins, Canadian, my wallet for today, I might get some socks, you can always use some socks. Chantal, here's a little life tip, okay, don't buy your socks at Giant Tiger, you smell like blue cheese, you have a problem with the odors on your body, get cotton socks, it'll change your life, and wash your feet sometimes. Wash the rest of you, too. How's that? What? Chocolate socks? You can't eat them! Why can't cows wear shoes? Because they lack toes. Oh, my gosh. Goodbye. Oh, my God. She's offended because she only has half toes. That joke is relevant to her. <sighs> Why don't cows wear socks? She rarely wears socks because she can't put them on herself. Why does this cow never wear socks? Because she lacks half her toes. Oh my God. They wrote that joke for her. I love that she stumbled upon it. <laughs> Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. So it's like a five below or a Walmart. I don't, I've never been to a five below. We don't have that here. And it's definitely not like a Walmart. Don't you guys have Ross in the States? I thought you guys have Ross. It's like a Ross. I don't know what else to compare it to. Like an old, okay, all the junk goes there, but you feel like that junk has been overstocked in some place for like five years. And then it goes to, like, Giant Tiger. I, ooh, these are cute. i got to find a way to get earrings around my hijab. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know where the... <laughs> you cosplaying sack of shit. That's literally, like, goes against the point of hijab. Earrings. I got to get my earrings around a hijab. <laughs> it's earrings or hijab, you fucking idiot. Uh, Zinka Cat, thank you for the super chat. I'm super excited. I want to give away. Ooh. Oh, dry herbic. Girl, that is fantastic. Uh, have fun. <laughs> Those things are so good. It's so much better than just smoking for your lungs. You save your lungs, you know? Good for you, girl. The pickles are. 
And this is my casual outfit for today. <sighs> Big head alert. They have a plus size that goes up to 3X, meaning probably not too much will fit me here. This shirt for summer looks nice and light. I really like the style of this. If you see that the sizes only go up to 3X, why are you wasting your time looking through clothes? You're living in a dream world, Chantal. Gigi, thank you for the super chat. This is Big Lots. Oh, okay. I don't know what Big Lots is either, but I'll take your word for it, girl. Giant Tiger. Like I said, it's pretty much like a Canadian Walmart. As you can see, they have things. It's really not. That is a piss poor comparison. It is not like a Walmart. She's no, no, sorry. No. Uh, Danny J. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here, girl. For pretty cheap. So it's actually even cheaper than Walmart. I've noticed they had some really, really good deals actually. $1.50 for a bag of these Epsom salts is a pretty good deal. So I'm just going to get a couple of bags for taking bath. Oh, Ross here is like TJ Maxx. Okay, so Ross in Canada is not like Ross in the States then. Because TJ Maxx is like our winners here. And winners is not like this store. And we don't have Kmart. So fuck, man. <laughs> We're so close. And yet it's the stores that divide us. Eh? Oh, damn it. That's why I love watching the, the shopping halls from your country. It's always from stores I've never been to before and shit. Yeah. That's back home, which I do enjoy doing. I'm going to get one eucalyptus and one vanilla and probably just mix the two together. That sounds disgusting. First of all, eucalyptus and vanilla, that doesn't belong together. Um, where's the bath? This is a good question. Capricorn NJ, you're asking the question that I had a big question mark over my head too. Epsom salts for what? For, oh, Epsom salts are not good for diabetics. Oh, shit. Interesting. So Lord knows she's not going to even Google it. Oh, no. Um, have we seen a bathtub in the apartment in Kuwait? We've seen the bathroom. Is there a second bathroom? Unless there's a second bathroom, there's no bathtub in Kuwait. Does she soak her diabetic feet in it maybe in like a little, little like, like a foot bath? Because there's no bathtub. Oh my gosh. I literally cannot even smell Hawaiian ginger without being traumatized from my teenage years. You guys remember this stuff? I want the prize. Got some sauces here. Olive Garden Ranch. Oh, see, I didn't even connect that that was like a current picture. I figured that was an old picture, maybe at his old apartment or something. Okay, so there's two bathrooms. Why have we only ever seen one of them? Is it like you get your bedroom, you get your bathroom, I have my bedroom, I have my bathroom, and she's not allowed maybe to film in his bedroom or bathroom? Hmm. <laughs> P.F. Chang's sesame and teriyaki sauce. Buffalo Wild Wings, Arby's. I spotted rice cakes. These are my favorite to snack on. I love the dill and I also love the all dressed. So the only solution is get a bag of each. I found these gourmet popcorn. Huh, that's interesting. You remember the other day when we saw her planner? And this was days ago, and it said something about a, a, a snack could be dill, like crispers or whatever the fuck they're called. Dill, dill rice cakes. Well, she just bought the dill rice cakes. So how was this in her video days ago in the planner? Are these videos like out of whack? Is she fucking with the timeline again? Or has she bought another pack of them? I am confused, but it was definitely written in her planner the other day. Toots, thank you for the super chat. I'm so glad you guys are okay. Oh, see what has hes hesitate. You you lose nothing, but you can gain a whole lot. I'm so glad you guys are all right. Uh Isabella, thank you for the super chat. Do they have the bees or spray? Oh fuck, I hope not. For this country, I hate not. I hope not. 
Okay, yeah, th this is, okay, perfect. These comments are like one right on top of another. I can't decide. This video must be old or she already ate a bag. It's definitely one or the other. But that is fucking weird that it was written down. Because if she ate one bag so quickly, I don't think she would have just grabbed one. She would have grabbed multiples. I feel like this video is old. And she hadn't edited it together. She had this like uh, footage or what footage. <laughs> she had all this shit, but she was too lazy to edit. So it took her all these days to get this made into a video and put it out. But it was before the writing of that planner. Yeah, that makes sense. She's lazy to edit. That makes sense. Corn flavors. Very interesting. Would you guys try these? I love this dill pickle powder, but I'm not going to get it today. So they had like a bargain sale section and I always check it out. They had some tea on sale for less than two bucks. And I think this milk thistle is good for you, isn't it? Then they had these like bargain bin can of peanuts and ketchup and dill pickle are my favorite. So I hope they're not stale. Who even eats these? For fuck's sake, what do you mean? You hope they're not saying, look at the date on the men. Oh, no, gross. I bet she looked at the date. They had expired. And that's why she's like, well, I hope they're not stale. Maybe they were like a couple of weeks past Esprit. It's like, oh, fuck, man. These giant hosts. I don't get it. Like, they sell Cineplex movie theater nacho cheese now individually. Interesting. It's shake and bake. Yeah. Yes, she did. She once was high out of her mind uh, back at the luxury villa. And as a snack, she just kept licking her hand and pouring that dill powder onto it and licking it off. You remember? It was so disgusting. And like licking her finger and like swirling it around in the little thing. Oh, one of the most disgusting live streams she's ever done. Ugh. What are... Okay, hosties, I guess is how you say it in English. That's a swear word in Quebec. Remember the other day when we did the swear word thing? There's a sti, a sti. Like, <laughs> we say that here, it's a swear word. It, it's it's the little wafer thing that you get for communion. That's what a hostie is. Why would they sell that in giant form in stores? I have no fucking idea. There must be some psychopaths who like to eat that shit. You know, it helps. Yeah, I am a sucker for shake and bake. Yeah. My favorite candy in the world? These sour soothers since I'm a kid. But I'm not going to get them today either. You know you're at a bargain store when there's a huge bin of stovetop on sale. Vegetable thins are some of my favorite crackers as well. They're really good. I know a pretty princess who would love to sleep in this cute basket. But I'm not going to buy it because it's like two bucks and I can't afford to waste the two bucks. What the fuck, man? You see a thing, you know your pet would love it. You get the thing for your pet. What's wrong with you? My God, I debate things for myself so much. I'm one of the, I'm so cheap. Like it's, 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 it is somewhat disgusting. The way I will like talk myself out of buying things for myself. And I got to think about it for months. And I really go back and forth and I research the shit out of everything. I make myself sick. I hate that about me. Okay. If it's something for the pets, are you kidding? There's no thinking. You buy two of them. Too fucking sweet. You know what I mean? <laughs> it is what it is. You have to have priorities in life. And if they're not your pets, like if you have no kids, it's like, if it's not your pets, like fuck you. Fuck you. For real. Um, Angus, wait, Angus the Pangus. Angus the Pangus. Good name. Thank you for the super chat. Since you said it, all I hear is her hissing teas. <laughs> she is a snake after all. And here's their like home section where you can get all kinds of cute little things for your home, like bathroom goods, soap holders, towels, and some really cute dessert candles. These are so cute. A bit of nostalgia in the game section. Oh my gosh, they still sell Operation. That's like the ultimate jump scare when you're trying to get that little bone out. Which bone was it? I can't remember. Anyway, there's a hard bone to get out. And that buzzer would scare me. And just a warning to all your haters. If you don't leave me alone, you're going to get super soaked. Oh, yes, buddy. 
I got bad news for you, freak show. The only thing getting super soaked is whoever your fake husband is throwing his sperm everywhere at. Four. Oh, yes. This mug says la vie est belle. Bien sûr, la vie est belle. you get twister for you and your husband play it naked that could be a whole last thing first of all there's no way she's getting down to play twister second of all what's she twisting <laughs> she just lays on the mat like a starfish <laughs> he starts vomit everywhere luna thank you for the super chat i'll take my pets to the vet before i take myself to duck fuck yeah is, is that not normal behavior to, i'm sorry but to me that's normal completely normal like listen we can take care of ourselves. We can make something happen. We, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm a cat of a person. I always land on my feet. It is what it is. Um, they can't. My God, they depend on you for everything. You've got to give them everything. You are number two. They are number one. All right, found a parking spot. Now we are at the shopping mall and it's time to get down to business. I am seriously gonna do some damage at Lush. I cannot wait. She's such like a basic bitch, but she's not, she's like like a wannabe basic bitch. Oh, I'm gonna do some damage at Lush. Why? Cause my mommy gave me a lot of gift cards for my 40th birthday. Why don't you finish that thought? Hmm? Oh, the damage you're going to do <laughs> on mommy's dime. You fucking loser. Oh my God. You're absolutely right. Hold on. Hold on. I'm so stupid. Y'all are clever. You catch things quick, quick. Okay. Just, just so we remember. And this is all supposed to be one day. Th wait, where is she? God damn it. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. You see her sleeve was black. I'm not going back far enough to find her dumbass, but she is wearing a completely different outfit in this one. What is going on? This was supposed to be all one outing, wasn't it? Huh. Interesting. And why are you hiding your aunt from us? We, you know, she, normally you would hear her stupid fucking voice in the background sometimes at least. Even if we didn't see her, you'd hear that stupid corny voice. You know what I mean? She'd say something stupid like, oh, I don't know, 12-year-old Jamaican men that she was going to go hit on. Yeah, you heard me right. 12-year-old men. Freak. Uh, it's almost as if your Uncle Phil isn't even there. Yeah, almost as if he's been replaced. Him. He, she's been replaced with an Aunt Pete's. Hmm. Now, why would you hide Pete's from us? Oh, that's right, because you're cosplaying as a married Muslim woman, and that would be chacham. More chacham than the color of your hijab. You are nasty. You are nasty. You play. Oh, fucking talking about the religion of the time, and you're hiding Pete's. Who do you think you're hiding him from? Do you think that salad is as stupid as, like, you think? I mean, he's stupid, but he knows damn right so you're chilling with Pete's. He just doesn't care because he's fucking in the red room. On a parking spot. Now we are at the shopping mall and it's time to get down to business. I am seriously going to do some damage at Lush. I cannot wait. Great question. Frenchie, when are you going to react to Alex Ness? We're going to do it tomorrow. To be honest, we were going to do it today, but after these days I've had off because of the new pup, um, 
It, it was too much Chantal content. You know what I mean? It would have been so long, the live. So tomorrow, it'll be a combined, you know, assuming Chantal's going to give us some other piece of shit video or something. Uh, Chantal with Learning to be Fearless slash Alex. And it's going to be one hell of a video. Her father is a... <laughs> oof. Just oof. We're meeting the father tomorrow. Brace yourselves. First, we stopped into this really cool local store called Ottawa Loves Local. And they just had like a whole bunch of different really cool craft items. I'm the biggest sucker for those little places like that. Like, okay, uh, Ottawa Shop Logo. When they have like a little kiosk or a little something and it's like everything is made in Montreal or everything is made in Quebec. Or I am the biggest sucker for this shit. Oh, man. They, they know how to get you, eh? When you're somebody like, I don't know, you're like, I go hard for my city and stuff. And uh, yeah, I am one of those people. I'd rather spend my money in my own province and blah, blah, blah. Somehow, all this crap that I would just pass by in a normal store, everything makes me go like, oh, that's so cute. Nevermore, thank you for the super chat. Like um, earrings, candles, bracelets, you know, stuff like that. Homemade tumblers, different kinds of homemade treats from local vendors look at these cute cups and candles yeah they were like just the cutest and these like chili flavored gummy candies i didn't get any but i really would be interesting to know what spicy candy tastes like oh those candies look bomb they're like the the ones with the tahini and stuff mm, mm. why would she not buy them when since when did she pass by candy <gasps> no money Oh, of course. If that's not the biggest like indicator that she's broke as all hell, she has passed by food today. Food. And these cute dragons and like little emoji things and keychains and this weird cup holder. Yeah, I bet you would, Ryan Reynolds. I bet you would like that drink on your face, wouldn't you? <laughs> and I want these earrings so bad. I didn't get them but aren't they so pretty like i love them anyway they have all kinds of homemade tumblers and mugs including these really cool like horoscope mugs I don't think oh my god get the there. fries one but yeah hi <laughs> all right and here we are lush like i said i have some gift cards for my birthday to spend here and i cannot wait Okay, okay, okay. Who, who can smell it in their imagination right now? Uh, I just got a whiff of that place in my imagination. The way I hate the Lush. Oh, my God. Because she's so obsessed with Lush. You know, we always do a Lush giveaway at Christmas. We've always done that. I receive it in the mail, and I leave it in the trunk of my car. I never bring it in the house because that fucking box stinks to high hell. It gives me migraines. All right, so I'm definitely getting a huge bottle of this Oud Hess, if I'm saying that right, shower gel. It smells delicious and amazing. This Posh Chocolate Body Wash, which smells like chocolate and smells amazing. I'm also going to get some Yummy Custard Body Wash. It smells sweet and delicious. And some Posh White Chocolate and Rose. I wanted to try some of the perfumes I've never smelt before. So I saw that they had a perfume card here and... I decided to smell one called Alina, and it actually smells really, really good. I have to research the story behind it. I want to knock her the fuck out. I swear to God. I have to research the story behind it. You're in Lush. Why do you sound so pretentious what fucking story did you like the smell buy the fucking thing did you not like the smell put the fucking thing down what are you talking about i have to research the story of it i swear to god i want to deck her for that comment who, who says that who says who thinks that 
You're in Lush. You're not in some fucking thing. I don't know. Some, I, I can't even imagine. I can't. Okay. Okay. You know, the Gucci perfumes that are like 300 bucks a bottle. Maybe those. Yeah. I don't want to do the story, but I can picture some pretentious ass bitch saying that in the store, right? You're in Lush, bruh. What story? Well, we threw some fucking smells together until it was as overwhelmingly stanky as the rest of the shit in this fucking store. And ba-bam, we put it in a bottle. There, there's your story. You like your story? Do you feel fulfilled? Fucking freak, man. Nevea, thank you for the super chat. Late to stream, eating dinner and watching earlier. Oh, thank you so much, girl. I really appreciate it. Enjoy your dinner. I definitely have to pick up a couple of massage bars. I know my husband will love these. So I'm going to get an after, which has magnesium, and I'm going to get a therapy. Wait, wait, wait. Did we miss Pete's? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm going back to the pretentious moment with the perfume, just so we all want to knock her the fuck out one more time, okay? Decided to smell one called Alina, and it actually smells really, really good. I have to research the story behind it. I definitely have to pick up a couple of massage bars. I know my husband will love these. So I'm going to get an after, which has magnesium, and I'm going to get a therapy massage bar. I'm also out of my face moisturizer, so I'm going to pick up my favorite, which is Skin's Shangri-La. I love their soaps as well. So have we passed yet? I have not seen a Pete's yet. Basement baby, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, 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 yeah, I saw on Twitter a picture of her reflection in the the mirror of uh, or the glass in front of that Green Door restaurant. Whoa! Someone superimposed her when she got caught, like a uh, caught in public. Somebody filmed her out in public when she was back during the BBJ rescue time, so like a year and a bit ago, versus today and uh, like. She's massive today compared to a year ago, pretty much. Kate, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I wanted to get the Shrek Lush bath bomb so bad. Oh, God. She would probably love that. I can't believe she hasn't had it yet. Stacy, thank you for the super chat. She really does. She's high as a fucking kite. I can hear the pasties at uh, like in this voiceover even. It's ridiculous. Roxy, the rat thing. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, you got a second puppy. Oh my God, I got a second puppy too, girl. Nero is a very cute name. High five on the uh, new puppies. <laughs> Nibbler. Oh, that's cute. He has a foot fetish. Oh my God, is he teething? That's adorable. Enjoy him. So I decided to get a couple of those. I actually ended up getting um, a goddess soap and a strawberry heart soap. And I also got a piece of uh, Sultan of Soap, which is a classic. Shut up. It's not a classic. You got it because it's Sultan and he's El Sultan Salah. Chantal, you're full of shit. It, it's not cute. You're like a child, man. And it's one of their best. So yeah, the goddess also, I was so surprised how nice it smelled. That's a pretty small bag. I thought you were going in there to fuck it up with all your, your, uh, what do you call it? gift cards and stuff? Or is everything so freaking expensive in there? It took all the gift cards just to buy those few items. Probably. Hmm. Now, I don't know if you've ever had Colonel's popcorn, but it's so good. So I decided to pick up a small cheesy dill flavor. It's one. Oh, she's such an asshole. You know, I was just saying, I like to spend the money in my own city and blah, blah, blah. She gets kernels, like generic ass kernels popcorn. Do you know that on that pit street, right by the kid's corner in Cornwall, her own funkily hometown, where she is actually staying now, there is a popcorn shop. I shit you not. And all they make is like really weird, really weird flavors of popcorn. Why wouldn't you spend your own money in your own city and have a better product on top of that? you nasty, Chantal. One of my favorite flavors. Pretty much anything cheese and dill is a win. So after the mall, we were pretty hungry and we decided to stop at the green door. It is... Damn it. I didn't catch the, uh, the pause I wanted. Let me go back a few seconds. Hold on. Look at her reflection in the glass. 
and we decided to stop at the green door. There you go. Look at her reflection in the glass. No, no, you definitely haven't gained any weight since you've been in Kuwait, girl. It's uh, <clears throat> visible. We're all wrong. All of our eyes are wrong. You, it, It's your new glasses. You're the only one who can see, I suppose. <sighs> Pete's is in the reflection, too. Where's Pete's? Oh, I do see a shadow. Interesting. It could be Pete's. I definitely don't think it's the end. And I think that's why this whole shit is being voiced over. She had to turn off the sound so that Pete's wouldn't be heard in the background, you know? Hmm. And yeah, here we go. Here we go. We are at the green door. Isn't that convenient after all these years? Chantal, stop watching me. It's freaky. You can't call me the stalker, but you're the one stalking all the, the streets. Weird. It is probably the best, arguably, vegetarian restaurant in Ottawa. And we love it. So we haven't been there in a while. But boy, let me tell you. Everything was so expensive, more than I remembered. So, yeah, just be wary. You pay by weight, um, and it's hard to really know how much everything is going to cost until they weigh it. So I'm picking up some marinade. Pixie, I'll take your word for it, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Good mushrooms. This is like the cold salad bar. They were out of a lot of things because we came after the lunch rush, but that's broccoli salad. Some marinated spring greens or spring mix. I am having some of their spicy kimchi. It's very delicious. They make everything in-house, every day fresh. And here's the hot bar. We have vegetarian lasagna, tofu, quiche, rice, spicy peanut tempeh, mashed potatoes with cheese and kale. And this is what my plate ended up being piled on with. Damn. Well, of course that's an expensive plate. Look at it, for fuck's sake. It's 10 feet high. Oh, my God. Girl. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I saw somebody on Twitter had posted up the breakdown. That plate of food is over two and a half pounds of food. Two and a half pounds of food. Like, how much did you expect to pay for it? And who the fuck eats two and a half pounds of food for a meal? I'm sorry. That plate doesn't look good. And I think that restaurant looks delicious, right? But just, you, oh, just mashing everything on top of each other like that, like nasty. And that's a spinacopita, this triangle thing here. It has spinach and feta cheese and dill. And this actually is a $40, $40 plate. Uh, whenever she rang it up and told me the price, I was in shock. But I did get quite a bit of food, but... Man, that was pricey. Overall, the ambiance. Man, that was pricey. Two and a half pounds of food. Nobody goes in and has a two and a half pound lunch. What the fuck are you talking about? Man, it's pricey. You are so cheap, number one. <laughs> uh, number two, listen, you can't afford to eat two and a half pounds of food in more ways than one. Mm -hmm. At this place is just really cool. And again, they make everything fresh and organic, so it is worth the price in the end. It's such a beautiful day out. Anyways, guys, I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. I gotta walk down this little scary alleyway to get to the car. <laughs> the rest of the people I'm with. No, but she said it pretty like standard Canadian white way. It's spanakopita, but stankakopita, I don't know. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's Chantal. Her last name is French, but she can't pronounce French. You really expected her to pronounce a Greek word? No. Today, uh, they're looking in like a bookstore and honestly, um, I'm just not interested. So I'm going to the car to get water. All right, guys, while well, I have a few moments alone and I'm waiting for people to come back to the car, 
I'm just gonna end the video here. So I just wanted you to come shopping with me. I know you guys like shopping vlogs sometimes here and there. So yeah, this is just um, an example of a- That's right, a bookstore. She doesn't read, let's be real, okay? She has no interest in books. She has a Quran. she hasn't even cracked open yet. Oh, except for to make that video, of course. It was the comic book store. You know it was the comic book store. Ottawa, that's where they used to go down there to get her fucking comic books. That's where he is right now. He's buying comic books. And so he's not in the car with her at this moment. And that's why this is the only part of the video that hasn't been the voiceover. Because he's not there right now. Kind of day out. We usually do shopping and lunch or something like that. And uh, we're actually just going to go to park probably. So um, I might get a few snippets of that. But I'm going to end the video here. So and the weather was beautiful. Like it was just amazing weather today. So very nice day. Thank you for coming along and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Garbage. But uh, thanks for confirming that you're still watching. Bye. You're so bad at this. Chantal still so bad at this. Oh, yes. She is now fucking with the timeline. Not purposely. It's not like how Amber Lynn fucks with the timeline. She's only fucking with the timeline because she's too lazy to roll. Uh, to, uh, to roll. <laughs> oh, my God. She's too lazy to edit. That's the only reason. So it's taken her this long to put out the footage of her buying those, um, um, like, rice, uh, what do you call those, rice cake snacks? But we saw the content of it already written in her agenda thing. They, listen, it's the laziness. Totally. Uh, L's RPH, thank you for the super chat. Come to Auto FFG. I'll treat you to the green. I would love to go to Green Door. That stuff looks awesome, girl. I'll be there anytime. Shit. <laughs> we can make a vlog out of it and then take three weeks to edit it and put it up. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. Guarantee the plate won't be $40. The fuck? If she had just not had that lasagna, she could have saved like 15 to 20 bucks on that. Just saying. The lasagna probably sucked anyway. Eh? Vegetables. Eh. Okay, <clears throat> moving right along. Next, <sighs> out of shape at the Upper Canada Bird Sanctuary. Why the hell would we be going there? It's a campground. It's a provincial campground. Oh, it's because provincial campgrounds in Ontario don't open until May 10th, which means she could go there pretty much trespass on the property at this point and not have to pay. One of those free videos. That's why we went there. Let me get the tab. Hey guys, today we are going to enjoy some nature at the Upper Canada Migratory Bird Sanctuary Campground in Ingleside, Ontario. So Yella, let's go enjoy some nature and see what we can find on this beautiful spring day in Canada. Welcome, welcome. And um, just, it's not for nothing, by the way, that they're closed until May 10th. The reason they do that is because the ground is so like wet and mushy during this time of year they don't want people stampeding all over that shit and wrecking the terrain so you have a death fat uh basically trespassing she's gonna fuck up your terrain every step that grass is fucking moving Blech. there's a deer wow wow Oh my goodness. Hi. <laughs> There's many different walking trails here. Great place to come just for a walk in nature. You know, I've lived here my whole life and never realized how gorgeous the nature is. Like, it's like I'm seeing it all for the first time or something. No, it's it's real. Oh, my God. It's because you barely left the house before. When you did, you were too baked to notice your surroundings. And you had money to go out and do things. So you were never looking for these free places to go. Wow. Oh, my God. It's nature. Who would have thought? Canada has some beautiful nature. I've never noticed the nature. What? You sound insane. Yeah, she's definitely high. <laughs> of 
fucking high as a kite. Fuck. She's having one. Of, you know, like, like sometimes people get high and stupid, mostly when they've been away for weed for a while, like she has. And it would be the moment you're like, oh, my God, nature. Like, oh, fuck off, man. Really beautiful, you know. I'm really enjoying myself alone out here. Honestly, I love it. gorgeous and you know what it's cliche but life is so much more fulfilling when you appreciate the really small things like that i know i need a manicure bad look at this ew i'm gonna get my nails manicured but uh no color um so yeah i'm gonna wear i'm just gonna get like the cuticles removed nails trimmed stuff like that cleaned up nice and clean all right, now to go over here. sorry okay i'm back i she woke up so i had to go and rush her to the grass you know and she peed immediately i would ask you if i missed anything interesting but i'm not going to bother i already know the answer you know i was just thinking like it's windbreaker season but like is it just me or i remember windbreakers like making the wind colder against your body because like they kind of stick to your body when the wind hits them i don't know Anyone else? Crickets? No? Okay. <laughs> oh, that was aggravating just to read Oogie Boogie. Thank you for the super chat. For everyone like me who pays 45% income tax or anybody who even pays a fucking dollar of goddamn income tax, this is your recipient who receives the benefits. Chantal. <laughs> I'm loving this day. Another nice pond here. Birdhouses everywhere. This trail goes in like a circle back to my car. <laughs> it's a big nature reserve. And there's the St. Lawrence River, I believe. I'm getting a headache listening, first of all, to the breathing and watching it bouncing back and forth. Please, Chantal, for the love of God, get yourself something to stabilize the video. Chantal's therapist, thank you for the super chat. She better be careful alone. She could never outrun a bear. Hold on. In theory, if a bear comes up to her and she's bigger than the bear, maybe the bear would fuck off because it would be intimidated. It would look at her and go, oh, no, that's a bigger bear. I better leave. Hey. A, because he's Canadian, Barry. Kathy, thank you for the I remember there being rumors as kids that there's bodies in the river. Surely there are. Yes. Oh, my God. What crazy rumors that children make up that there are bodies in the St. Lawrence River. Bitch, you know how many fucking thousands of bodies there must be in the St. Lawrence River? Are you insane? She's so, like, guarded. You know what I mean? Oh, they were rumors when we were kids. No, bitch. The rumors came from somewhere. Are you... Are you dumb? That's a stupid... I'm, I'm an idiot. Lisa Barrett, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> She's getting that Tammy Slayton forehead. As Tammy lost hers. Chantal found it. But who knows? Kind of morbid... <laughs> Nice birdhouse. I'm gonna take another break in memory of 
then last step will be back to the car. And I have, actually I have an appointment <laughs> at 2.30, so yeah. I know no one else understands my journey. A few of you do, but, or maybe those who do don't really say much. <laughs> but that's okay, you don't have to. My life to live, you know? <laughs> Anyways. Let me put it to you this way, New Yorkers and anyone else. The people who are putting the bodies in the East River are the same ones in, let's say, Montreal, who are putting the bodies in the St. Lawrence. <laughs> Our city is sort of run by the same people. You know what I mean? Or should I say, capiche? Thanks for being here. little birdhouses around here. This is closed, but <laughs> weird taxidermy things going on here. Oh my god, no, I've never heard of her, but that sounds adorable. I'm gonna look her up. Thanks. Bird Sorry, observations. Like, what the fuck are we even looking at? There's nothing there. It's just, I like nature and shit, and like this is boring as hell. What the fuck? Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to another vlog. I'm here at the Bird Sanctuary uh, in Ingleside, Ontario. So yeah, I saw some cute deer already. It was so nice and it's so peaceful out here. There's like no one around. So I'm just gonna see what I can see and do a bit of exercise, yellow. Different places you can look out here. Might be oh, I want to take on this video so bad. What was that? Oh. Anyway. <laughs> like no one out here. So yeah. I'll be out of breath because, well, I'm overweight. And I have asthma, so. Yes. Kind of. Oh, that yells was so creepy. <laughs> So you wasted the, or well, wasted the, you took the time to edit the talking out of the video where clearly you're hiding Pete's, but you couldn't take the time to edit the heavy breathing out of this one? Thanks. Windy though, chilly. Hello, geese. A lot of geese this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> so reading that is fucking hilarious. I like nature and shit. I mean, I, like, I, <laughs> You can tell when somebody's from the city. Hey, damn. Uh, Lord of the Fruit Flies, thank you for the super chat. Even the birds aren't going to show. No, she stinks. I don't think birds, like, they gravitate to food smells, not like deceased animal smells. Ugh. Maybe like a vulture. <laughs> I don't know, something like that, but not the little cutesy poo birds that this one's looking for. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I mean, we have a few minutes left. We're going to finish this caca. Uh, Chantal's therapist, thank you for the super chat. If Chantal shits in the woods and no one's around, does it smell? Oh, <laughs> disgusting. And yes, it smells miles and miles away. Hello, chipmunk. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom in more. Oh, that's terrible quality. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm just having a sit down here just to soak up a bit of sunshine, vitamin D, and yeah, there's all geese around. So I'm just hanging out with the geese <laughs> and it's a really gorgeous, it's, it's a really gorgeous day. Like the sky's blue. See, see the whole uh, idea of the robot. <laughs> okay today it'll be a goose the other day it was a seagull i don't care i just need a robotic like drone bird to fuck with her 
today we could have been a Canada goose. And suddenly she's like looking over, oh, look at those geese. And there's one goose that keeps like fucking eyeballing her. And so it's me, it's the robot, I'm controlling it. And suddenly that goose comes out of nowhere and pecks her ass until she gets back into the Kia and fucks off. Yeah, we need this. Blue, you know, there's no rain. It's not too hot, which is how I like it. So yeah, but it's a bit cool. So I guess I'm kind of like surprised how quickly you can lose your stamina for um ex she looks like mother goose that I yeah she looks like mother goose she looks like the old lady who lives in a shoe she, she looks insane it's a lot of things she looks like exercise and you know I just um yeah I'm just like not in the best of shape <laughs> and especially just today i'm feeling um you know just a bit tired and um like i can't walk too too much so i am just going to enjoy nature and do a little bit as i can and you know just take it day by day beyond that okay first of all jay frankie that's when the magic happens <laughs> Now, if I buy the drone, I just said we're going to crowdfund the drone. No, no. I'm going to buy the drone. Does anybody have the artistic skills to turn that motherfucker into a goose? I try to walk a little bit every day, but I definitely want to bring up my stamina for um, exercise. It really bothers me that I can't walk very far without being uncomfortable. And I know there's a great deal of discomfort I'm going to be going through for the next while. So I'm bracing myself for that. But... Even if it is uncomfortable getting out here, it is important for me to bring my physical, you know, my um, physical abil abilities out of the trash that they're in right now. Seriously, you know, and I realize also that means eating healthy. So that's something else that I'm going to continue to uh, try and really um, just eat healthier and a lot less, a lot less. So we'll see how that how This is not content. This is her lying to herself. Like how many times have we heard this? How many times have we heard this in the past month? Fuck. Stop lying to yourself. And if you want to keep lying to yourself, stop doing it on camera and monetizing the videos. It's pathetic. Uh, mean Jean, thank you for the super chat. I've only seen, oh, what? <laughs> That's not funny. That's not, no. Oh, I just want it to be a bird that has a really, like a hard beak piece that can really fucking pick, you know? Yeah. Tracy, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> listen, we're getting the drone. We are, listen, she needs a visa every three months. I, do I think she'll come back to Canada in three months? No, but probably in six months. So we have six months to make this fucking drone thing happen. Yalla. Oh, this journey goes again, <laughs> but, um, hi. <laughs> Cherry Blossom Mocha, thank you for the super chat. She does. Oh my gosh, I'm like Snow White. Hi. Oh my gosh, I'm like Snow White. Guaranteed she's got a sandwich under that table. They're not there for you, Snow Blue Cheese. They're there for your fucking you know, backup sandwich under the table. The animals would not come around her, miserable witch. Uncle, Uncle Leo, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> this bird comes to me when I call it. Hello. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, it is so worth it to come up. Bird smelt the sandwich, burned Caden to the table. Bird assessed the situation and went, this fat bitch isn't going to share her sandwich. Bird left. Mm-hmm. Paula's oars. Thank you for the super chat. Congrats on doing your taxes. Here and just spend some time. There's so much nature and animals. That's so cute. I was going like, and this, these birds just kept coming to me. I'm Snow White. I know it. I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. <laughs> I'm Snow White. I know it. I think her mother used to call her that. God, you are so Delulu. If that's Snow White, then it was never really a fantasy book, was it? It was always 
some kind of a horror story. Jenna, thank you for the super chat. Girl, anytime. And I mean it. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Does anyone know what kind of birds they are? They're really small. So, so you know, they're just really small. Anyways, guys, thank you for listening to me talk. Um, Lisa Bear, I swear to God, I'm about to block you, bitch. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. It depends who's. Um, just in a very like thoughtful mood today. So, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, thank God. It's over. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Come here. What? What is this? Turtle crossing. I wonder if she went searching the turtles like she did the day with the frogs, purposely hitting them and laughing like a sociopath. Wouldn't put it past her. Oh my God. Oh, what the fuck? We just watched like four videos and I'm about to say, what the fuck did we just watch? Hey, hey, don't bite that. Oh my God. I give all of what we just watched a zero out of 10. The best part of tonight's everything, in my opinion, and maybe I'm biased, is the... Uh, salad edit at the beginning with the farts and shits and Kybella text messages added to it. The rest, fucking garbage. Damn, Shanta. If you don't have 10 minutes of content, don't put on crap from a year and a half ago in Kuwait. Literally, no one cared the first time. You certainly don't care the second time. You can put up a seven minute video or hear me out. You take two days worth of your shit content and you stick it into one and then you actually have a proper like 20 minute video. I know. I know. It's crazy. Huh? But uh, your channel is so dead and shit. I don't think posting every day is really changing anything. You know what I mean? It's not going to break the bank if you take a couple of days off. For real, for real. It wouldn't change shit. That was garbage. <laughs> Snow spite. I like it. The animals know she's an abuser. Oh, they were walking up to the table to give her shit. I like that. Yeah, they are all in cahoots, the animals. I believe that. Hmm. Yeah, I can, I can agree with this one, too. The best part is the new pup. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. I'm tired. Can we watch Peanut grunting? We absolutely can. That is pretty much how we end every stream at this point, and I like it. It's like the outro. <laughs> I love that. So, like that, no matter how bad the content was, you still go out on a laugh. You know? I love it. Any community tab updates? Let me hit refresh, and we will find out. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, no, no, nothing. Okay. <laughs> Love that for us. Long distance high five. Yay. <laughs> well, all right. It is 748 my time in, uh, I don't know, when do you want to play? 830. So in what, like 40 minutes from now, we will be going live on Twitch to, you know, do our games and whatever, you know, you know, you know. Um, uh, I hope to see you there if you are a gamer. If not, tomorrow, everybody. Tomorrow's plan is of course, we will start with whatever Chantal gives us. That is the policy around here. We start with Chantal shit, right? Then we are going to pivot over to Alexandra Rodriguez slash learning to be fearless. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to meet her father. And when I say meet, I mean, you're going to hate someone tomorrow. Ooh, this guy. Wow. And you're going to hate Alexandra a little more tomorrow too, because she's such a narcissistic, selfish you know what? I'm going to save it all for tomorrow. All of those adjectives. Okay. Trust and believe you'll hate her a little more when we're done here tomorrow. <clears throat> it's going to be one hell of a stream. I can't wait. She who shits herself. Thank you for the super chat. There isn't my, my puppy got a puppy. My dog got a dog. So yes, there's a little, little babes in this house. <laughs> Guys, whew, thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for your patience over the last few days. Well, I've been just getting this little nug, you know, like used to us and us used to her and shit. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I've been doing. I, I just didn't want to, you know, like say, okay, I'm going to sit here for two hours, but it really works out. She sleeps like such a log when she wakes out a little pee and then uh, that's good. So we are good. We have the rhythm back. Thank you for your patience, everybody. <sighs> Y'all tomorrow. Okay. Like I said, Chantal and then Alex, it's going to be one hell of a stream and it's Friday. Fridays are always so much fun around here. I can't wait. Butt stuff and cheese and Hella degenerates, okay? 
Like I said, we'll be playing uh, Twitch uh, games on Twitch in 40 minutes. Hope to see you there. If not tomorrow, guys, whatever you're doing with the rest of your night, have a great, great night. Please be safe, whatever you're doing. All right. And uh, I will see you either in like 40 minutes or tomorrow to go out as always. Uh, make sure if you're on Twitter, you are following that's underscore Lindsay. That's Lindsay with an A uh, because she makes the gold that is Dune Buggy H not off. Here we go. Good night, everybody.